Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm out here reconditioning these pots. Well, the soil in the pots. So I want to show you how I'm going to do that this year or how I've been doing it. If you turn this way, you can see that I planted a couple already behind me in the bigger pots. And I thought I would show you in one of the smaller pots how we've been doing it. So here we are. Um, I have my soil that I've had in all my pots for the last couple years. Each year I try to recondition them. And this year I need to go with an inexpensive way. First I take the hose and I water down the dirt that's already in the pot. So I make it moist so it's not flying everywhere when I try to dig it or pickaxe it. <laughs> and then I go over here and I think I showed you the EB stone in one of the other videos. If not, here it is. It's called EB Stone Organics. I don't know if you can see it very well. And it's a soil booster. And it's got all these good things in it. It's got, uh, let's see, chicken manure, earthworms, or earthworm castings, pumice, feather meal, back guano, alfalfa meal, and kelp meal. So it's got all these really good things. And it's great. You just put it in your soil, mix it in, and plant. You don't even have to wait a day or two for your soil to acclimate or anything. This is, it's not hot. It's not um, overpowering. It's not strong. It's not going to burn your plants. I mean, maybe if you planted it only in this, it might hurt your plants. But if you put this a bag per pot or so, I'm going to put three quarters in this pot and then put one and a quarter in the garden behind me. And then I'm gonna use another bag for the vegetables in another pot. So I've been trying to go by what the bag says. I had 300 gallon pots. I used a bag and a half. And for these, I'm gonna use like three quarters of a bag. And for my vegetable garden, I'm gonna go according to the space size. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> and now you can see down here, I think you can see, yep. You can see I have my little pot that I put dirt into. I took it out of my big pot. And this is my 100 gallon pot. So I have been taking the pickaxe. And taking my pickaxe and picking the soil, making it nice and so it's not stuck to the sides. Well, there's some still a little bit stuck to the sides, but it's not all hard and clay caked in. Oh, see, so it stirs really nicely. And I'm gonna put some of the Evie Stone in. With this stuff, all you do you should rip open the bag. And that's good for your roots. That's what you eat that for. Put a little more than half in. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit of this out. So I can add it in with the other stuff. Half the bag. Then I take my pickaxe and I start getting it all stirred in.
Okay, so you can see it's a lot of work. <clears throat> and this is only a small pot. A small pot. Ah. We add more dirt. Now this is just the dirt that I took out so I could mix better. Try not to have honey needles as much as you can. At least not broken down ones anyway. Keep mixing it in. And you just mix it in as best you can. I'm probably just going to use the whole bag. It says it can. I think my friends are trying to help me save money and say only use one per pot for the big ones, but I use one and a half or so. And I'm hoping it'll be enough. <laughs> I actually think I should have used two, but I'm not on a very tight budget. Okay, I'm going to use the right. And please excuse the ghetto rake with the duct tape. <laughs> it's old. Ah. I usually have my son help do the digging. But he doesn't want to be on video. Ah.
Okay, so I'm gonna save y'all having to just look at dirt being mixed. <laughs> and just tell you that that's, you just keep going until you use the bag in the pot and keep mixing it in. Whew. And then what you do is you even it out, make a little hole in the middle, make sure your pot fits, and put your plant in. And I know I have a couple videos of that from last year. So that you can go ahead and watch from back then. One's funny, and one I get the job done right. <laughs> so go ahead and check those out. Whew. I'm gonna get back to filling this pot, and uh, now you know how you can condition your soil for a pretty decent price. It's about $10 a bag, so for $10 a pot, I can be condition all my soil. So yeah, I'm really happy, and uh, back to digging. <laughs> So thanks for watching, you guys. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And ring that bell for notifications. And have a peaceful day.